Good morning, guys. It is now 10 to 8 in the morning. And I'm at a place called Trout Lake in Vancouver. And uh, we're going to have another day in the life of Nomadic Van Man. Just so you can see what I do during one day in the life of Nomadic Van Man. <music> I've got to go see a, a lady today, help her fix her van over on North Vancouver. It's going to take me, I don't know, half an hour, three quarters of an hour to get there. So I've got to get up and we'll have some breakfast. I'm just going to have some cereal this morning. And then we'll head over to North Vancouver and do some work for her interesting lady we'll get to meet her helen helene so uh i turned the light on i got the fan or the uh heater on diesel heater just so that it's uh gets a little warmer so i can get up and get dressed in the warmth it's a little chillier in the mornings Still no snow like on the prairies. <laughs> and uh, it's still short sleeve uh, weather here in the daytime. Supposed to be nice today. It was beautiful yesterday. It's supposed to be nice all week, so it's a good time to work on a van to seal everything all up before the kind of the rain starts. So we'll get up and do that. So, anyway, let's get up and have some breakfast. Okay, we're getting breakfast started. We got coffee. Let me turn some lights on. We've got coffee, creamer. I still need creamer. Uh, put it in the dripper here. I, I like sugar still. Got some milk for the uh, cereal. And I think I've got Cheerios for cereal. This morning we'll have a little bowl of that. There's the coffee getting started. And my new countertop. You guys wanted to see cooking on my new countertop. Well, this might not be cooking, but there it is. All right, let's have something to eat. Okay, guys, I've got to head off to Walmart to pick up some water. And then we're heading over to the North Shore, North Vancouver. Okay guys, here we are at Rona. I'm supposed to meet Helen here. She's not here yet. She was supposed to be here at nine o'clock to get some wood. I don't know if she's picked it up yet or if she isn't here yet. She keeps telling me she has adult ADD, which means uh, she says she has no concept of time. So I guess we gotta live with, with that. Maybe she's late, uh, whatever time it is for her. But we'll just hang around here, wait for her. She will show up sometime. So uh, we just wait. So we're doing some work on that camper van in the back there. Uh, that's Helen's unit there. We're parked at Rona. Uh, I guess she's allowed to do work here. So doing something on the roof and doing the windows and the back bumper. A little few things like that. So. And there she is there. So we'll go and do some work on this thing. You see my big window in the side? Yeah. I took that right out. Yeah, that's put, what you have to put do. Put new uh, butyl tape yeah. around I mean, there it. Yeah, there was a do. I'm filming. You, you're not filming right now. Yeah. You, oh. Yeah, you can. Or the your motor home a little bit, what's got to be done. So, yeah. Okay, this is Helen's rig that I've been working on all day. 
the putty off the windows and they put new roof parts in. Uh, nothing too much up front. Just this window here. Taking all the uh, putty off that was oozing out and uh, cleaning it up. Something like this here, like it's uh, oozing out of the side, so she wants that cleaned off. So we'll have to get that. Then there was the bumper portion. And uh, like I said, she's working up on the roof there. And now we'll have to see about getting that other last window. to put in there so I don't get water on it. Like the top. Oh, the, well, they, they have, uh, in here they have square plugs for, for pipe. Do you know where to get them in there? Well, I can look around. I'll give you money. Uh, how big is that? One inch or? Yeah, I think that's one inch. Originally, Quebec City. Oh, right in Quebec City? Yeah, my mom still, well, Quebec City, yeah, Quebec City, St. Foy. Oh. Uh, about 20 minutes walking distance from the university, University Laval. Oh, so, I was in Quebec a couple times. It's a beautiful spot. I was actually in Quebec City a couple times. Oh, nice. Like on the way to the yeah. East Coast and then on yeah. the way back again. Yeah, I mean, for people that like good food and you know that follow the foot yeah and where i stopped the guy said you just drive down this street and turn there and then you're in the oldest part yes and i thought holy i, I gotta see that oh yes the oldest part of Quebec. yeah and if you drive i don't know if you had a chance to go where the docks are for the boats that is the old old part i.e if you buy over there you can do Renault inside, you cannot touch the outside. Oh. So Quebec, the, the, the uh, old part of, uh, of uh, Quebec, that is all protected. Uh, and that is why it's still the way it is. Often also back east, when people buy property as opposed to here, here people buy they demolish everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over there, I mean, when my folks sold that house, I mean, we were there all our life. We never moved. Um, and um, basically, uh, didn't tore the house down. They did reno to it yeah. inside, but they didn't. They don't, didn't. Don't demolish it. No, they didn't touch the structure. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, what, no. what, uh, what do you need a hand with yet? Um, like, you, you don't want to... Well, I mean... The, I, uh, I want to help you clean up a bit if you're going to... I, as I said on top right now, it's, it's full. And I have not... Um, I, tomorrow, you're, uh... tomorrow, what I have to do first thing, now it's pretty well... You can't sit here overnight, can you? N I, I, I wouldn't sit here overnight. I'm going to go back to oh. the waterfront. No, I just wonder. Because right now it's too cold for me to apply what I need to apply on top. Right. So tomorrow there's one more day of sun and I will finish the top. So yeah. you have a you have a name for your Oh Rick? yes. What Ms. is it? Miss Daisy. She's old but she's mighty. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Daisy. She's old but she's mighty. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and I helped out for a Oh, day. you help huge all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I am extremely appreciative. I wish you could help more.
Oh well, it was a great day. Uh, it's quarter after nine in the evening now. And uh, Ellen, uh, that's, uh, that I helped fix the van for, for her camper, she treated me to a, a supper. We went out to White Spot, had a good burger, a uh, good meal there. So it's time for winding down. My bones don't feel so good right now. It feels like I've been working. So be nice to hit the hay early tonight and uh, have a good sleep. So I hope you enjoyed another day in the life of Nomadic Van Man. I thought I'd take you along on another one. As boring as it was for some of you maybe actually I, I I hope you enjoyed my day um, this was just like a, a one one thing day I went out to help Ellen uh, work on her camper van get it ready for winter uh, winter here is uh, is rain uh, not so much in the snow but it does, it does rain a lot so we had to get, uh, you know, eliminate any leaks that were, that would pop up or what have you. So anyway, uh, we accomplished a lot. She really appreciated me helping her and I uh, appreciated her feeding me all day. And uh, I had a good day, like I said, but my body sure feels it. So it's time to wind down and get ready to uh, hit the hay. I think I'll have a coffee and then we'll hit the hay. So. Thanks again for coming along, guys, and uh, might make another one in the near future here, so look forward to that. Comment, uh, subscribe, um, like, what else is there? Share, um, at least subscribe. Uh, I It makes me want to get more videos out and know that I'm actually... Uh, speaking to somebody out there as opposed to just the camera uh, love the comments click the little bell in the corner over there uh, so that you can be notified when the next one comes out so you can be the first to watch good night guys get access to my storage unit and number three, what I do is so not of your business, it's not even funny. You got room plenty on the other side. So let's not even go oh, there. You went the other way, huh? Yeah, and then I put a complaint in. I said, that woman, the way she did address me uh, and being condescending and accusing me of being here with no business of being here, if she comes back on the lot, you guys best look and give her a good talk to because I'll call the cops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I will not have somebody targeting me where I do business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she was nutty. Uh, basically accusing me of uh, parking where I shouldn't. Uh, yada 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 and it's kind of I what I should have said is who the f piss in your cereal this morning and mind the f business yeah I don't owe you I don't even owe you an explanation <laughs> yeah so but um, wow was she ever piss and the, just the fact that she knows that I park here at night yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's another thing. You know, it's kind of, uh, uh, don't piss me off, lady, because I got a right to breed. Yeah. And this is pure harassment, and I'll call, I'll, I'll call, I'll call you on that. Furthermore, I'll take one more step. I'll call it.